Here, uh, if you look at the, the, the output in the SPSS, you see this is the, the multiple regression. This 12.96 actually always the standardized coefficient of the dummy variable. That unstandardized coefficient, unstandardized coefficient of dummy variable is a difference in outcome variable between the two groups. The outcome variable here uh, to, uh, in this example is systolic blood pressure. This is a difference in systolic blood pressure between male and female. When the age is controlled, when the age and this interaction is controlled for, all right, so we have that, uh, that number. So this is the, again, difference in systolic blood pressure between male and female when they be controlled for age. Now, I can give you also, look at the systolic blood pressure. We, have, we already have the systolic blood pressure uh, in our data set. Okay, go back to the data set. We have the uh, systolic blood pressure. We have this group, uh, male and female. We can say, uh, calculate the, what is the mean of systolic blood pressure for male? What is the mean of systolic blood pressure for uh, female? And is there a difference between the two means? You see, we have that systolic blood pressure and we have this category 0, 1. So this is an example of t-test, a uh, two-sample t-test. So I run that. I click on Analyze, uh, Compare Means, Independent Sample t-test. I move the systolic blood pressure as a variable, as a, a test variable. Sex goes to a uh, grouping variable. So you have two question mark. I have to take care of those two question marks. So I click on define. I know I uh, have one value zero, one value one. This is a dummy variable x2, or, uh, or we call it sex here. So uh, I click continue. You see I have zero, one there, and I click OK. And uh, that uh, gives us a SPSS output. As you see here, you see the mean systolic blood pressure for female is 139, almost 140. And therefore, male is 155. So there is a 15 point difference between the two, which is you can see here, here are the differences. 15, this is exact difference, 15.288. Now, why over there, as I said, difference? Why is 12 here? Here is 15. The reason is 12 here because that number is adjusted for age. That's the idea in multiple regression. I mentioned that many, many times in a multiple regression. We only concentrate on the marginal contribution of each variable, not absolute contribution. Absolute contribution of variable only pass is possible if there is zero correlation between this variable, which is very, very rare. In the real world, never happens. So as long as there are some correlation between this variable, the, mar the marginal contribution would be way different from the absolute contribution. The more correlation between this variable, the little marginal contribution of each variable. So again, here is 15, 288, but it's 12 here. One other thing is, you see here is uh, that difference, is it 12, almost 13 point, is not significant. But when you look at the t-test, you see we have a significant, highly significant. In other words, these two differences, this 15 point difference is the solid blood pressure between male and female is highly significant. Now, we can generate or we can uh, uh, find this exact value using multiple regression. If you move the age out of regression, only run a regression uh, as a systolic blood pressure as a dependent variable and sex as independent variable. And then we will, we will see exact this number shows up. We will see. Here, if I click on Analyze and then Regression and Linear, at this point, I'm going to remove that, uh, uh, actually remove the sex and put the sex back. Only have, you see, I have systolic blood pressure as a dependent variable and sex as independent variable. All right. So this is a simple regression, one dependent, one independent variable. And that independent variable is a dummy variable. So, and it's fine as long as it's zero, one, dummy variable is allowed in the regression. So I click OK. Again, uh, I'm going to, uh, this is for t-test we had. Uh, I'm going to uh, get rid of, uh, until I get to the coefficient. Okay, here. 
this is a regression and this is a, a simple regression I was talking about you see uh, the dependent variable is systolic blood pressure the independent variable is sex and look at that coefficient is 15.288 exactly the same the reason is negative here because the computer in t-test uh, wrote 139 minus 155 so that's why you get negative but look at the absolute value exactly the same so again if the dummy variable is only variable in your regression the the coefficient that is on a standardized coefficient on that regression for dummy variable is a difference in the mean of that outcome whatever outcome you're looking for here is systolic blood pressure uh, between the two groups here the difference in mean systolic blood pressure between male and female is 15.288 and then represented by that the unstandardized coefficient of this dummy variable now in in practice we rarely use that interaction term uh, in the dummy variable we, we, uh, we, we use that interaction in order to show you how to find the, the two lines but you, sometimes you don't need to do that you only find you want to find out how the, the groups are different based on that response variable in other words you you want to see how the dro uh, groups in this example male and female are different in terms of their blood pressure and then you only use one dummy variable here because of gender and then as you see this is highly significant and that t value is exactly identical to that t p value here you see exactly the same t value and then p value of course the same so again these are a lot of similarity between the two uh, uh, t-tests and the multiple regression if only uh, that independent variable is a dummy variable so actually you know in, 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 instead of t-test you can run a simple regression uh, with your uh, response and your uh, group as an independent variable okay that's uh, conclude our uh, lecture on dummy variable at this point